We want the technology that can help to know where is the weakness, know where is the problem, and try to solve it. So that's part of the things that we have started to see in, in, in private you know, education. You're talking about virtual lessons, people you know, going from different cities. A good teacher from a place like Abha can be presenting to someone in Dubai or New York or anywhere else in the world. Uh, we are trying to see interactive content instead of just rigid content. We try to see you know, lately augmented reality. I don't know if you have seen here in the, in the show some of the things where you can experience you know, the experiment in, in the lab instead of just watching it. You can do it you know, online and put all the ingredients and it can blow in your face, but the only difference, it, it wouldn't harm you, like the real lab. So, so that's part of the things that we start to see using technology. Of course, e-question banks, uh, smart exams that can be adaptive to your own you know, uh, level. A lot of that and much more that you know probably you have seen here in the, in the conference. But and that's the big but, and maybe that's going you know, to take us to the to the to the title of this you know uh, presentation. What about public education? How are how are we doing in public education? Especially when we know that public education, not just you know in the UK, in many many countries around the world, accounts for more than seventy percent of the students. So the fastest stuff, is it just in the private sector or how about the public sector, the biggest elephant in the room? What, are, what, what is happening right nowadays? And of course, those government and public sectors have more challenges, it has less budget, of course, and they are the real future, they are more than 70% of the coming generation. So what is happening? Uh, the facts actually could surprise you, and I don't know if some of you are here from the government, you know, school sector, so some of you might have sensed that, uh, governments actually are racing to adapt the latest technology. And that's what we have been, we have been dealing with so many governments, you know, uh, you know, around the world. And it's, you know, thankfully, we're not at the stage now in this 2019 where we're trying to convince the governments, oh, this is important. You need to do this. This is not a necessity. This is not a luxury, I'm sorry. It's a necessity. And now more leaders in the government sector are really convinced and trying to act upon it. In, in terms of numbers, 60% of governments, you know, have started some kind of, you know, a technology program in their education system. And it varies, you know, from one country to another. Uh, and the increase, the increase of budget we have seen in countries on average of 50% increase in the education technology budget specifically. Actually, more prominent.